Thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host Dave and today we're going to talk about the differences between Shiraz and Syrah. So Syrah is actually a black skin red wine grape that has two parents that are relatively obscure and that's Dureza and Mondus Blanche. Now those parents are both native to southeastern France. However, there's a whole host of people that feel the ancestral home of Syrah is actually ancient Persia. And ancient Persia had a capital city by the name of Shiraz. So you're starting to see the connection there. Whether it's Syrah or Shiraz, it's actually the exact same grape called two different ways. And generally what we see is the term Syrah is used in the old world in places like Europe and Shiraz is used in the New World in areas like maybe the United States, in Australia, etc. So these two grapes have a lot of similarities but climatic differences. So I thought it'd be important to point out what's unique about them and also what binds them together. So first off, as we mentioned, the grapes themselves are exactly the same. But the climate and the hand of the winemaker can steer a wine to being more new world in style or more old world in style. So let's just explain that. So Shiraz, by example, generally we see winemakers growing the Shiraz in warmer areas. So the grapes have higher sugar content and greater potentially high alcohol. They further go on to do extended maceration and extraction of colors and phenolic compounds, which in turn creates a more fruity and richer wine. If we switch to the old world and think of Syrah in Europe, generally the macerations are kept shorter, where the grapes are grown, generally in the northern Rhone part of France, the temperatures are a little bit cooler, so the potential for alcohol is much lower and the wines tend to be leaner and more tannic but yet more complex. So I thought it would be fun to take the two, put them side by side and see just how they present themselves so that you can make up your mind whether you like the New World Shiraz or the Old World Syrah. So what I have here from the New World is a offering from Turlato and Chapoutier and this comes to us from Australia, and this is a Shiraz. The alcohol content on this wine is 14.5%, and it is a 2017 vintage. What I have here on the right is a wine from Domaine Pichon, and this is from the town of Cote Roti in the northern part of Rhone in France. This is a Syrah, and its alcohol content is just 13 and a half percent. So different right away. So the first thing we can do is take a look at them two side by side. And the first thing that we see is old world and new world really don't have any difference in color. They're semi-transparent but really dark purple uh, in the glass. If we swirl to liberate the aromas, we'll take the Syrah first. The first thing that comes out of the glass is, is kind of almost a cross between uh, plum pudding, like a spiced Christmas plum pudding, and a little bit of incense. We can see that this is a dark, more spicy type of wine. If we go to the New World Shiraz, swirl to liberate the aromas. What comes out of the glass is somewhere between a cherry liqueur and a little bit of plum paste with a slight bit of black peppercorn. So really quite different just on the nose. Now let's get to the palate and see how it speaks to us. We'll go back to the Cote Roti Syrah first. Take a sip. The first thing that we notice is there's uh, definitely a plum entry on the front side of the palate. A lot of cracked black peppercorn a little bit of a licorice stripe in there, and a whole lot of herbalness. Mid-palate, we feel significant acidity from this wine, 
and on the back side of the palate, we feel a lot of tannins. Now, I'd mentioned to you before uh, the vintage on this. When we think about Northern Rhone Syrah, this one's still just a bit of a baby, and it could age a little bit longer, and those tannins will soften. So, spicy, um, aromatic, and a little bit peppery with a tannic finish. Now we'll jump over to the New World Shiraz and see how it speaks to us. The first thing that we'll notice with that is a significant fruit presence on the front side of the palate. Everything from black cherry to black plum. Uh, mid palate, we don't feel nearly as much spiciness. That fruitiness continues in. We do feel the acidity at a much lower level. Um, I don't want to use the word fruit bomb, but there's a significant amount of fruitiness to this wine. And the tannins are much more subdued. So let's just summarize real quick. When we look at Syrah versus Shiraz and the Old World versus New World, we're going to find leaner, more tannic, spicy, lower alcohol wines in the old world, we're going to find fruity, higher alcohol, lower acidity wines in the new world. So I think I might have said that backwards. Old world, new world, but you get the picture. So I'm going to get back and enjoy a little bit more of these Syrah and Syrahs, and I ask that you come back next time, because soon you'll know wine in no time.